The eleventh story from the Zen flesh, Zen bones of the gateless gate, written by Paul Reps. The monk raised his fist. He didn't answer. The fist can says everything inside is me. Like Ramana Maharshi said, raised Ramana Maharshi raised his fist when somebody asked, "What is this? Ask who am I in this fist?" In Karnataka, we have Ikai Karnataka Dasti means this hand is the wealth of this state called Karnataka. Ikai na liye tera aidi perlu kulo aidi kodi Karnataka kar do. Shakti means in this hand, five fingers are the power of this Karnataka. Of five crore Karnataka remains. Now they told me it's not five crore, it's seven crore. Seven crore Karnataka are in this five fingers. Musti mari vandu kotra. That if I make a fist and give you one for seven generations, you will not be able to get up. It's not that uh, very dangerous. But they are telling the fist. The fist says this kai is the asti, the wealth of Karnataka. This kai, this hand. When I work, I can understand. I walk, I walk, I understand. I am the whole of Karnataka. Means I am the whole body. And the five. Fingers include the everybody in Karnataka, and then you can see the whole of India, whatever the whole of your family members inside that five fingers. When I make a fist, may I make a fist. When I go for a job, I carry everybody together. My Sanskrit is, I take all of them together. Mom raised the fist. That was what he's trying to say. Ask who am I to make a fist? Before making the fist, you have to find out who are you. You have come from the family. The family culture is all inside you. When you have the family culture, the whole family inside your hand, to have the family inside your fist, you have to love them. You don't go to the horse and directly touch his face. It will kick you, bite you. You go to any animal, you have to give the hand. Once it sniffs you, and it doesn't make you. Problem? Then you can slowly touch like that. You have to go to all your family members to make sure whether they have sniffed, sniffed, sniffed you, and then you can make the fist. The monk raised the fist. Means he said, "I practiced. Who am I? I have knocked, and the door of my inn is opened. I have awake, like some even awake arise. That awake and arise was already there." The monk raised his fist. Joshua replied, "Ships cannot remain where the water is too shallow." And he left. Either he will sink, or the other things. But there is no meaning in it. Let Joshua say anything. But the thing of the monk is that he understands his power. No world can do anything if you are understand your power of the hand means power family, and the five fingers of the five different varieties of your family member cousins. And together you make a fist when the family sits together, eats together, prays together, lives together, grows together. Who else touches you? The moment you are split, you are beaten into pieces. Joshua Rubel, ships cannot remain where the water is too shallow, and he left. Yes, <laughs> a few days days later, Joshua went again. Flowing water is fresh water. Stagnant water stinks. You are flowing with the with the culture, but when you stay in shallow, the ship will sunk. You cannot ships don't stay in shallow water. Ships means your family, your samskriti cannot stay in shallow water. Get out of it. You put rules and regulations because thousand years of your slavery from the Islamic cultures, from the Christian culture, from the Western culture, you are still staying in the shallow water, getting drunk and you are getting pulled down. Few days later, Joshua went again to visit the monk and asked the same question. The monk answered the same way. Yes, what else? If the monk has changed, and he said, "Yes, I have a difficulty when I go to the temple, and the priest asks me, 'What is your gotra, patra?'" He asks me, "What is my gotra?" I show my bomb, and <laughs> they either get angry. Or I will tell Gotra. I tell human. So I will refuse to go there because those people are becoming the priests in the temple are becoming cunning to find out whether what you are. How do you say what you are? Borrowed knowledge. 
A few days later, Joshua went again to visit the monk and asked the same question and the answer was the same. Yes. When you are going to meditate, if you understood yourself, your answer is the same. Today your husband is good, tomorrow your husband is good, today your father is good, your father is not good, tomorrow your guru is good, tomorrow somebody says your guru is bad, you change, to, you keep shifting. That is your chanchal of your mind. Chanchal of the mind is devil in you and the devil can destroy you, destroy you through your diseases. You are a diseased man because you have not prepared to meditate. The monk answered the same way Joseph said, well given, well taken, well killed, well saved and he walked to the monk. Yes. Now he understood. Yes, examination, no, you cannot examine. Examination only on the examination table in the hospitals. Examining, you can examine them only the, the slaved children of the education department in the schools, in the school laboratory. Corona laboratory of the schools and universities. You made them a nobody, a slave to nobody. And you, they call you educated. Come out of that. That education of the slave language is good. But go back to re-examine and practice your Sanskrit the yoga therapy. Once you understand, then you have the guts to give them 10 people more.